Hello, this is Craig and I built a rotary selection system. Um, normally when you're building a starship in a game, it's uh, quite a chore. You've got dozens and dozens of options and you've got to select, well I want 8 cannons and 20 millimeters worth of armor and that way is such and such and that's a pain in the butt. Uh, even the systems where you slot things into um, into holes in the ship, doesn't that, that also takes a fair amount of effort. What I've decided is to create a rotary system that allows you to quickly uh, select your ship and its components based on a simple drill down selection system. Doing this without the rotary thing is possible, but it would take up significantly more screen space and not be as, as nice to look at. So for example, let's say I wanted to build a luxury liner. There's the luxury, but I can't click on it until I have clicked on the cargo area, the passenger suites, and then I can click on luxury. Now the ship starts with certain baselines, but if I want it to be able to go from system to system, I'm going to have to give it a gate drive. And maybe I want it to be a fast luxury cruiser, so I give it a heavy drive. Each click increases the size and cost of the ship, although that's not visible here at the moment. It'll be in the, in the middle later. Similarly, when you mouse over these, in the middle it'll, sh it'll pop up with text, but I didn't really feel like, for a proof of concept, I didn't feel like writing up 8 million descriptions. So that's currently turned off. Um, it's possible to make this deeper, uh, but I think that three layers is probably just about right. Um, and these are, these are just proof of concept layers. I don't believe that these are what you would actually use. But each species can have their own. So for example, down here in the military section, I've got the heavy space frame as the first military selection. And it may be that you're playing kind of space elves, and their first selection is shielding, which is over here uh, on, for this species. So you can really uh, specialize your ship um, based on the species, play to their strengths and avoid their weaknesses. Uh, similarly, because you've got a drill down system, you can't just put in the things you'd like. Like if I want a research lab, I have to have a deep scanner. So that means that there can't be tiny research ships for this species. If this species wants a tiny research ship, it's going to have to buy one from a species where research lab is on the second tier. Or maybe even the first tier. Uh, this makes it extremely fast to whip up ships while still leaving each species unique and uh, it could be used for any kind of, of game. Uh, not only that, but this system, I'm using it on a computer right now, uh, you could do it just as easily by printing this out as a character sheet and allowing them to put X's in these instead. Uh, unselecting them is as easy as clicking to deselect. No biggie. Um, so, this is a fairly quick and adaptable way to do this sort of generation. And uh, it's also suitable for anything else you care to use it for. You could use it for fantasy, um, you know, fantasy class skill uh, systems and so on and so forth. Um, I just thought it was fun and quick and easy and I also thought that I would show it off because it's built in HTML5 on a canvas and uh, as you, those of you who have tried to do it before will know, text doesn't go around in circles um, in HTML5. Uh, it's, it's, it wasn't easy to make it do this. So, that's me showing off and just seeing whether there's any interest, whether anyone thinks it's cool. Alright, thank you.